adding GPS to our Wi-Fi Pineapple Tactical Case, this time on Hack 5. Hey everyone, Glitch here and welcome back to Hack 5. This is a quick video about adding GPS to our Wi-Fi Tactical Pineapple Case. Uh, the solar pineapple case we've been working on in the last couple of videos and slowly adding features to. This time around, we're adding GPS so that we can do war driving uh, with Kismet. However, in this video, we're just covering GPS, what kind of adapters you might want, and uh, what kind of software you need to actually get the GPS functioning on the Pineapple Mark 7. Now, this doesn't just apply to our tactical case. This is if you want to carry a Pineapple Mark 7 around in your backpack and do some war driving, it'll work perfect for that too. You don't need all the fancy stuff here. One quick note, if you're trying to use multiple different dongles like a USB LTE dongle and a GPS dongle or the 5 GHz dongle and the GPS dongle, you're going to want to use a USB hub. Uh, I have a couple different options linked down below, but the Sabrent 4 port 2.0 hub is likely more than adequate as the Pineapple Mark 7 has a 2.0 port. It's cheap, simple, and will just work. Now, as for the dongle itself, there are a few different options. In this video, I'm going to be using the Ublock 7 uh, GPS G-Mouse dongle. This is like, I think it was like $15 on Amazon, dirt cheap, and it just works with GPSD, the software we're going to be talking about installing. There are a couple other options, like the little USB sticks. They look like a flash drive or a ducky or something. Uh, if you want something low-key without a bunch of cable mess so you can just toss it in your bag, that works great too. I've had good luck with it. Basically, anything that supports U-Block standard will work. Uh, you can look at the GPS D-Docs and that'll tell you what other dongles will work. As for GPS D itself, the application we're going to be installing, it's a great little translator that will take multiple different forms of GPS, even a streaming GPS data stream from your phone. So if you didn't want to use a GPS dongle, you could even use your phone over USB to just send GPS coordinates to the device and do all your war driving from there. We're not going to be covering that in this video. We'll probably get into that in a much future video where I'm going to be doing a completely different, much more compact, clean case mod. But as for this one, we're going to dig right into installing GPSD. Okay, this tutorial assumes a couple of things, that you have your Pineapple updated to the latest 2.00 firmware that just released. Should work with older versions, but I've not verified, so your results may vary. And that it's also internet connected, updated, and that you've synced your time. Basically, we're going to go in here to our terminal, do an O package update to make sure all of our packages are up to date. And then we're going to do O package install GPSD and install GPSD clients. Now, clients isn't strictly necessary, but it's useful to test that everything's working correctly. Cool, those installed with no issue. And now we want to make sure our USB dongle, our GPS dongle is actually connected to the pineapple. And so to do that, we will plug it in real quick and type in D message. Yeah, it looks like it got assigned to TTY ACMO. And we can also further verify by just doing LS USB and you should see U blocks da 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 GNSS receiver. That tells us our dongle's connected. So now if we just type GPS D slash dev tty acm zero that should not return an error that's telling the gpsd server what port the dongle's connected to and then we can type gps mon and that'll give us this cool little display that i'm gonna have to censor absolutely every useful bit of information on uh because this is accurate to within a foot or two even with inside the metal van it's really impressive how well it just works you get all kinds of cool information like altitude, speed, heading, uh, longitude and latitude, of course, which is the stuff we're interested in for war driving. And that's pretty much it. We now have working GPS on our Pineapple Mark 7. Uh, you can automate this to come up at startup just by putting the GPSD TTY ACM0 command in uh, any startup command folder uh, or command file rather. In the next video, we're going to be talking about installing Kismet, and that will just take the information from GPSD, as well as obviously all the wireless devices it sees with our wireless interfaces built into the Pineapple, and it will correlate those two. And you can get a nice clean war driving file that you could upload to WiggleNet or use for your own uh, data harvesting needs. It really is just as simple as that. So see you in the next video. I've been Glitch. This has been Hack5. Glitch out. Thanks for supporting Hack5. Find all our shows, community, and Pentest products at hack5.org.